Look at that. <laughs> so that's how it's printed out. That's cool. Oh dear. So normally when I decided to back the crowdfunding campaign, my wife tends to always have a go at me for why I'm buying silly stuff. But for some reason, she actually agreed that I should get this device. So this is actually called the My First Camera Insta Wii or Y, whichever you want to pronounce it. But this actually has the wireless printing capability as well. So not only is it a digital camera, but also the black and white printing capabilities. So it actually comes with the five rolls of thermal paper. And when they say thermal paper, I presume same like when you actually buy stuff on the shop, they'll give you a receipt that is actually by thermal burning and so on. I think that's how it works. So it actually comes with the 2.4 IPS color screen when you actually take a photo up on in the printout, it'll be black and white. It has a front and the rear dual lenses, a photo resolution of six megapixel, nine megapixel and 12 megapixel as well. So it's pretty good. Uh, video mode, which is 30 frames per second and a resolution of 1920 by 1080 uh, as well. So the wireless built-in, as we talked about, thermal printer. Battery capacity, which is pretty good, which is uh, 1,500 milliamp per hour and charging time of 2.5. And also has the, um, the support memory card up to 32 gigabyte as well. So enough said, I think the image itself tells a lot of what this can do. And um, it looks quite a fun thing to play around with, especially with kids, teenagers who are actually um, having fun with their friends. But also, I think if you want some labeling in your house, this, this roll actually comes with the sticker capability. Hopefully we'll find that out. But anyhow, let's get into the unboxing. So here it goes. So it's like an environmentally friendly repeating sort of message. The moment of truth. So this comes with a, what is this? A sticker isn't it okay so you could decorate it if you're a kid <laughs> this uh, I'm sure kids will love this actually uh, this will be a very good Christmas sort of gift uh, so that's how the manual looks like so just skimming through we'll find out more about it this, that's just a soft pad so that's the main device okay so this is a string okay and on top of that we also have the micro USB um, plug as well, and also the USB uh, memory card for some reason. Ah, yes, of course, these are all the five rolls. So you can see that this is three lines, four lines, two lines, one straight line, and probably this will be the default one. So this is the actual device itself. You can compare the size of it with against my palm um, so you can see some of the buttons here plus minus and um, also the camera and video mode and um, yeah th these seems to be pretty straightforward anyway and that's how it looks like where do you charge it I have absolutely no idea unless actually if you think more carefully you charge it through the charging dock so this is the charging dock itself very friendly look um, power and this is the wireless printing and where do we put the micro USB right just found out where you could actually charge and also the memory stick and I just realized what's this docking station for it's literally just a switch that if you actually put it on the charging dock it will able to press these two and that's pretty much it so it kind of makes sense but somehow I just I don't know. I mean, it's just my own opinion on it, but it's quite interesting to see that the charging cable has to be attached to the actual unit itself. And the dock itself is just for aiding the way how it stands mostly. All right, so the setup should be pretty straightforward. So if you take out the actual device from the docking station and open up the front, you will see that all you need to do is put the paper this way. And then when you actually um, shut it, I guess, there's a bit that you could actually cut out. So, ah. All right, so the cutting bit seems to be a bit tricky, but I presume you have to actually face it this way and then 
okay that's rather good so that's how you actually cut it now if you actually turn it around again if we actually turn on the actual camera it says my first very cartoony so you can see me um, and then what you can do is you can take a photo that's actually taking a photo and then you can also go for video recording as well um, and also now if you go back to the actual um, records you'll see that there's a JPEG image here and there's another JPEG image the way how you actually could get rid of it is by pressing the gear and it asks you to delete so you just delete it that way so if you actually go to the settings you can see that there's this um, printing density um, and also the format wireless connection date and time sound uh, language settings video resolution and photo resolution as well um, and um, i think that's pretty much it the rest should be either you print it or you just uh, actually save it onto your memory card but if you actually look at the actual app that i downloaded that's how it looks like so you can actually use your own camera phone camera as a as a source to printing out the actual thing so you could choose camera or the actual record of the photos and then you can actually use some of these sort of format to actually make it more delightful to present it and there are some other templates that you could go through with the app and you could actually manually draw yourself something and then you could print that out as well and um, there's an also an option of to be a bit more creative with all, all other different method as well. One of the things I forgot to add is that when you actually take photos, you can add some of these sort of features as well, which is quite cool um, and, um, and so on. So make sure if you want to have a bit of a fun, you add these sort of things as well. So now I actually taking a photo myself with some devil horns on it. So let's actually try to print it out. Ah, see it's printing, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> so that's how it's printed out. That's cool. Oh dear. So you can see that you have to be careful cutting things out, by the way. Right, for the labeling side, all you need to do is change your camera settings into the wireless connection mode. So you actually see this sort of screen. And then what you need to do is you go to your app and you'll see template here. And on the template, it says freeze freezer storage. And then you'll see this tomato or strawberry, May dates and so on. So you can actually change this uh, by using your app. And then basically, if you're happy with it, make sure you're actually constantly connected to the Wi-Fi, by the way. You then basically say done and then preview. And then if you're happy with that, you just press print. But before we get into that, I've got to make sure this is actually on the front side. So moment of truth. This is actually two roll, by the way. So print now. Look at that. That's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, so that's all done. And it's all good to be tiered out. Oh, come on. There you go. So it's much easier for the sticker because it's actually thicker paper to tear it out comparing to the, uh, these standard paper, by the way. So um, yeah, definitely, I, I'm sure a lot of people will find this useful, especially if it's a sticker, you wanna make sure you keep a record on everything and um, have fun with it. So that's really good. Yeah, so I actually had a lot of fun with my first camera, Insta Y or We which way you want to pronounce it. Now, the quality of the material, when you actually grab it, it's kind of hollow um, and child-friendly feel, if you see what I mean. If you actually play with a lot of children toys, if you have a kid, you know that this actually, immediately when you grab it, is for kids. Uh, there's a bit of a weight, which is good, um, but I'm, I'm sure when you actually drop it, 
it'll still be fine and it makes a lot of sense because you know when it comes to printing you need ink cartridges but this one doesn't need an ink cartridge it's actually for the thermal paper that you need to put in that you can use for fun for taking quick pic picture of your family members or if you want to label certain things you can use different roles uh, to label it and so on and the app is very very straightforward to use so you can use this device for quick black and white printout for small bits um, or you can use it for a, a camera and then transfer the memory uh, to your PC and have fun. So I think when it comes to the point of view as a child, uh, it will be a very good educational tool um, for them to learn how technology works and so on. But as a parent, I guess you'll have, you can have a bit of fun if you're into photos, you could take photo of, quick photo of your child and then stick on your wall or maybe you could actually use it for labeling for uh, cookery or um, where the where each items of the household is and so on so uh, great concept and um, hardly anything to complain about other than the fact that one thing which is that when I actually try to tear out the main paper it it's very difficult to get it in a very clean cut. So I don't know whether someone can actually improve that on that end, but overall, I love the concept and it is quite a fun thing to do as a child once you hand over to them. And it is one of those things that could let them get into tech, if you see what I mean. And also with the um, camera side of tech, that is. Um, but it's up to 12 megapixel, which is not one of the best. I mean, if we could actually, if you actually get one of the best flagship phone, you could get way better quality with it. But the whole point is, is this is to be a family-based sort of entertainment, educational purpose for uh, kids and so on. So I would like to say well done. Uh, my first camera, I think that's the name of the company. And I look forward to see any other further crowdfunding campaign to come along as well. So I hope this video sort of explain what this device works, but if you have any queries, please do comment below and I'll be more than happy to come back to you. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.